Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Thursday, the 20th of June. Construction for the 30 meter telescope project on Mauna Kea is given the green light. Today, the state took action, removing four structures to clear the path. We learned one man has also been arrested. Sarah Madison has our top story. Sarah? Joe, the state anticipates there will be those who will exercise their rights to free speech, but it will also be working to make sure access is available for the workers. People against TMT tell us they will continue to demonstrate. The very next morning, following the notice to proceed with construction, four structures on Mauna Kea were removed. Governor David Ige referred to them as unauthorized. We learned two Ahu, or altars, that were taken down were at the summit where the 30-meter telescope is to be constructed. The other two structures were located across Halepohaku and on Hawaiian homeland property. When we are looking at enforcing rules and ensuring that the rules are enforced, the types of structures that are built need to be in compliance with the law. Governor Ige says TMT construction will begin sometime this summer, but dates have yet to be released. Our hope is that we can provide as much information as possible to disclose. We have a number of security, safety considerations that we have to take into account. This is not an oil pipeline. It is a telescope to look into the very origins of life in the universe. We have worked a long time to hear each other and to make a choice as a collective community. Those against TMT say this is a sad day for Native Hawaiians. At this point, we can have protests. If we can still say we disagree with it, but we need to be peaceful. We need to be Hawaiian. I'm very disappointed because uh, the people are not for the telescope. They don't listen to us. Why should we listen to them? Now, TMT released a statement expressing gratitude for the notice to proceed and vowing to be good stewards of Mauna Kea and respect the culture of Hawaii. Back to you, Joe.